How's everyone doing? I have a awesome Blu-ray update right here with some 4K titles right there. And if you've seen any of these movies, there's uh, eight in total, uh, definitely let me know what you think of them. And let me know what is your favorite pickup from this lot right here. And first up are two autograph items. Uh, I'm big into you know memorabilia, getting stuff signed, uh, stuff like that. And I was able to score a really good deal on these two items uh, from the same seller. And one thing, if I'm going to buy something that's signed or autographed from uh, you know somebody else secondhand, uh, I want to have either authentication, a third-party authenticator, or either a picture of the signing, which this seller was able to do both. Uh, first up is the Code Red Blu-ray release for Hot Moves. I remember watching this when I was younger and really enjoying it. It's been forever since so I've seen it. And I got this for less than the price of the Hot Moves Blu-ray goes for. Like this Blu-ray is, uh, you know, it's a code red, so it usually goes for a little bit more. But uh, And this was signed by um, uh, Jill Sholin. She was in uh, Popcorn. She's been in a, a bunch of different things. Uh, uh, Stepfather. Uh, she was in Phantom of the Opera. Curse 2, The Bite. Cutting Class, which actually I think is underrated. Um, but yeah, and she inscribed her character's name right there too. But there's a picture of her signing it at a convention. And uh, I had seen this before. I, the seller had been trying to sell it for a bit. He had it priced a little bit higher, and then I, you know, sent him an offer for it for uh, this one and the next one. Uh, but this is a uh, '80s teenage sex comedy movie, and again, it's uh, you know cheesy hilarity. You kind of know what you're getting yourself into for this kind of movie. But I remember really enjoying the heck out of it. Some really hot chicks back in the day, from when I was younger, from what I can remember. But I'm looking forward to revisiting this one. I'm very happy to have it on Blu-ray. I wanted to get the Blu-ray for this for a while, anyways. And to get it signed for less than the price of the Blu-ray, souped on it. Um, next up is Hostel, signed by Eli Roth. And this is actually PSA DNA authenticated, which PSA uh, is the number one authenticator in the market, if you're not familiar. They do a lot of like sports authentication, celebrity in general, but comes with a corresponding card as well. Um, so that was really awesome to get that. And uh, I, I gave him kind of like a, you know, a bundle deal on both of them. You know, I, I noticed he had... Uh, that, that one at least listed for a bit, so uh, that worked out really well in my favor. I'm actually a big fan of Hostel. Hostel 3 I, I thought was terrible. Hostel 2 I wasn't a big fan of, but it had uh, one of the most amazing horror kills of all time. The bloodbath scene with the sickle, that's just phenomenal. And some hot tricks again. <laughs> uh, but this one right here kind of uh, revolutionized uh, this kind of subgenre, like the torture porn-esque, whatever you like to call it. But... Uh, I love the heck out of this one. He's Eli Roth is a, a fan of horror and it shows in his films. He gets some criticism, which I, you know, I like a lot of his stuff. The only thing I wasn't a big fan of was uh, Knock Knock. Um, but uh, I, I like Green Inferno. I liked, uh, was it uh, Aftershock even? Even when he does the acting roles, I'm a fan of it. But uh, very happy for this. I would have uh, loved to have gotten it on Blu-ray, but that's cool too, the DVD. And there's the autograph again. So very souped on that again. The top of the line third party authenticator PSA DNA, and then you've got a uh, the I've got a picture of this one, so of the signing, so souped on that. And uh, here are some 4K titles uh, from Paramount. Uh, is Grease, and this has some uh, new special features on here, uh, including I believe a uh, alternate ending, um, you know, some deleted scenes, and I love that artwork choice too for it, very eye catching, appealing. I think the UK actually has a like a locker style steelbook for it, which looks really cool. I wish we would have gotten that here. But this is the 40th anniversary. Wow. Uh, John Travolta, Olivia, Olivia Newton John, a whole bunch of uh, what's in here. This is a classic. They've, you know, there's a sequel. They've done the uh, recent live version. I remember checking that out. But uh, a classic musical right there. Uh, looking forward to checking it out in uh, 4K. And uh, next up are two ones um, from Lionsgate from 4K. Uh, first up, I'll show you this one, Push, which this one always kind of reminded me of like Ocean's Eleven meets X-Men, uh, the way that there's a whole cast of characters and how it plays out and their abilities, and all the different names uh, for their abilities, like Pushers, Movers, uh, was it like Screamers or Bleeders or something? I think it was Bleeders, but it should have been Screamers, but there's a whole bunch of the Shadows or all the different character ones like that, but this is uh, early Chris Evans, you got Dakota Fanning in here, uh, Dijon, Digimon Hansu, who I always remember from Amistad, a uh, great character actor. He's, there's a whole bunch of recognizable people in this one. Um, but yeah, there's all these people who have like different powers, and there's this government agency um, trying to capture one of the people, and uh, that person has like a some kind of vial of um, 
like testing stuff that can make these people have their powers uh, elevated essentially. Uh, they're basically trying to protect the one girl and uh, get that, uh, you know, medication, that needle, essentially, a syringe filled with that stuff. Um, and uh, the, the one thing I have about this, the criticism I have about it is the ending. It uh, leaves you, uh, you know, for sets up for a sequel. And there has been no sequel. I guess it really didn't do that well in the theaters. I thought it was decent. Uh, it reminded me, uh, there's also the movie Jumper. It was kind of like, for so, not really too similar, but I think some people... Just by the title and some of the trailers kind of maybe got them confused. Um, but I thought this one was enjoyable. Again, remind me a bit of like Ocean's Eleven meets X-Men. Uh, but yeah, I, who knows if they'll, they probably won't ever do a sequel, but they do sequels for everything nowadays. But I am looking forward to checking it out in 4K, revisiting that one. This is one that I haven't seen. Uh, that is Knowing, uh, Nicolas Cage. Uh, the trailer for this, I remember just was kind of wacky. Nicholas Cage doing so many movies. Trespass, I actually thought was a really good recent one that he did. Uh, but it's basically kind of a post-apocalyptic, or no, actually an apocalyptic kind of thing. From, he's like a professor, and uh, he deciphers a coded message, uh, I guess about a major world disaster. And he's trying to protect his family, and craziness ensues. Lots of action and explosions, and Nicholas Cage making that face. <laughs> Uh, national treasure in uh, an apocalyptic style theme, I guess. But uh, I'm gonna check it out. And I, this is one that I think, from the trailers, I can imagine looking good in 4K. Uh, we'll see. Next up, I am souped on this release. Uh, Killer Clowns from Outer Space from Arrow Video. I love that slipcover. I actually have a bit of a Killer Clowns collection. Uh, there's an everything blue like set that has the Arrow Video steelbook in it. I've got the Arrow Video steelbook separately. I've got signed DVD, signed Blu-ray. I've got a um, DVD with like a lenticular faceplate. Uh, <laughs> I've got a signed poster. There was recently a convention. I was able to get the poster signed up. Um, so I know they're actually doing a signing for this in California. I think in Burbank. Uh, so I'm hoping, but I think it's um, attending only. So if anybody's in California and uh, is willing to help me out get this signed, let me know. Um, I think they're selling, I think you have to buy it at the door and they sign it there. I think it's the Chiodo Brothers and I think maybe the composer, which I don't have the composer signed on anything of all the signed stuff that I have. Um, but I love that slipcover. This is one of the very first horror movies ever. So I think the very first one was uh, the original Nightmare on Elm Street. I remember as a little kid seeing Johnny Depp getting sucked through the uh, the bed and all the blood hitting the ceiling. And then this one, too. It was like the earlier ones. I must have been like, I don't know, like seven or eight or something like that. And uh, I was kind of hooked. And that was the same time where I was, uh, as a little kid, being enthralled, going to the video rental stores and seeing all the horror covers and just just blowing my mind with the imagination. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I remember th as a kid, this movie actually kind of freaked me out. Uh, clowns don't scare me, but uh, just... The things that they did, the actions and stuff like that, and the cotton candy, those things were uh, pretty creepy as a kid. I think those are still kind of creepy, actually. Uh, but now I watch it, and it's just cheesy, fun, horror comedy, and I dig the heck out of it. I know they're, they've are they been talking about making another Killer Clowns movie for like ages. I hope it'll happen. I would love to see it. Uh, but there's a ton of special features on here. A new 4K scan from Original Camera Negative. Just uh, I'll be doing a, another uh, review for this one coming up soon. Um, because this deserves it, and I love that slipcover. Newly commissioned artwork, and I like the color scheme for it. And again, I love Arrow Video, what they're doing with the releases, the titles that they release, the transfers, the special features, uh, the collectible packaging, newly commissioned artwork, disc artwork, reversible artwork, um, just everything, the booklets. It's amazing. Even the clear cases, nice little things like that. If you're a physical media fan, collector, you'll really appreciate it. There's the disc artwork right there. There's the booklet. Oh, and this one actually has a poster as well, which I'll show you momentarily. But yeah, there's all kinds of behind the scenes, you know, information. There's the old school poster artwork right there. I like the old MGM DVD artwork too. The Midnight Movies. I dig that. I really didn't care for the previous Blu-ray release cover art there. I thought that was kind of ugly looking. Uh, but there, there's a uh, British quad poster artwork that's amazing. That's probably the best one out there, but here we go. Even the poster is reversible. And there you go. And that is definitely eye-catching and appealing right there. <laughs> I dig the heck out of that. So, souped on that uh, amazing uh, looking release. I can't wait to pop it in and see the 
special features, the picture and audio quality, all that good stuff. Um, but Arrow Video just killing it, souped on this. And again, if you're in a uh, Burbank, California area, I don't know if I gotta check to see when the actual signing date is. Usually, it's on like a weekend, so maybe probably like this weekend actually, or maybe next weekend. I'm not sure. Um, either this weekend coming up or the following one. I'll have to look up. But uh, if you're in Burbank, California, and you have some free time on the weekend, let me know. Uh, I would love to get that signed up. Uh, next up, Arrow Video release for uh, Herschel Gordon Lewis's uh, 2000 Maniacs. Now, admittedly, I am not the biggest HGL uh, fan, you know, Godfather of Gore, but uh, this is probably my favorite from him. A lot of his ones just seem a little too schlocky and just rough around the edges. Uh, a lot of it feels like just filler, too. I've watched a bunch of his ones. I know they're releasing, like, they did the box sets. And uh, now they're releasing a lot of the ones in, um, you know, individual releases, which I like. I don't, that box set even, I'm not a big fan of. It's so monstrous. Uh, but this one has, uh, I think uh, the other one had a uh, previous uh, release too of, I mean, uh, the previous uh, release for the, you know, individual ones, they had uh, two movies on here. So uh, I feel like they should say it more in the front, but it's 2000 Maniacs. It also comes with uh, 1964's Moonshine Mountain, uh, both with introductions from H.G. Lewis. I do like hearing him talk about, you know, the experience and making the films and the budget and, you know, basically like there, I remember the, the last release there was, um, uh, he was talking about, uh, how he basically had to, you know, put extra stuff in there to make the video or to make the movie a little bit, uh, longer. Uh, but yeah, this is one that I haven't seen in a while, but I remember it being my favorite from him. So looking forward to checking this one out again. And there we go. Digging the heck out of it. I know there was the, the remake too, which, I thought it was all right. I I thought it was a uh, decent. Uh, no booklet on this one, but I do even like. I just appreciate seeing the little advertisements in here. Um, just reminds me of how many more I need to get right here. Yeah, there's the the box set right there. And next up, last but not least, they Arrow Video. I always talk about how amazing they are. Uh, they do such a great job on the releases, but especially on their box sets. Beautiful. This is uh, Sajin Suzuki's Early Years Volume 2, Border Crossings and the Crime and Action Movies. So really nice. Um, this is uh, boundary-breaking early crime thrillers, mob dramas, and action movies from legendary cult director Sajin Suzuki. And I know he did uh, uh, Branded to Kill. Um, you know, it doesn't. A lot of times they'll say all the different movies that he does, but it doesn't say it on here. But it, what's included in this one is uh, Eight Hours of Terror. From 1957, The Sleeping Beast Within from uh, 1960, Smashing the O-Line in 1960, Tokyo Nights 1961, and The Man with a Shotgun 1961. So uh, a lot of uh, films to check up on here. I'll go ahead and show you. There's the outer slip box. Here is the thick booklet right there. Just that's again, I, I love the booklets. It comes with uh, behind the scenes photos and ton of information, a lot of write ups on uh, each film. They talk about the cast, the crew, directors. Sometimes they'll have like a film critic uh, do a write up on there too. Um, there we go. This one has Eight Hours of Terror, Tokyo Nights, and The Man with a Shotgun. So, uh, three films on that one. And it's. The Blu-ray and DVD combo pack on each. And, ooh, I dig that artwork, too. That's another thing, too. Their newly commissioned artwork is awesome. But a lot of the old-school artwork is really cool, too. So it's kind of hard to choose sometimes for me. I love that they're doing a, a lot more slip covers recently. I'm a big fan. I'm so thankful that they came over to the U.S. Again, they're one of those companies that started out in the U.K. And they're just solely releasing over there for the longest time. A lot of region locked stuff. So when they came over here, I was so excited. And then they had the Aero Academy line, too. And this one includes The Sleeping Beast uh, Within and Smashing the O-Line. So just two on this one. And let's go ahead. And again, it's a Blu-ray DVD combo set right there. And uh, The Slayer. Uh, this is one I remember watching The Slayer. The best thing about this one was the artwork. Uh, I was disappointed in that one big time. But uh, there's the old school artwork for it. But yeah, I'm I'm definitely excited to see what they release next. They have so many great releases, a whole bunch of ones I still want to get. Uh, but there we go. That is a really nice looking set. I'm looking forward to delving into this. I haven't seen any of these films. I think Brain to Kill is one of the 
few ones I'm uh, very familiar from this director. Uh, but there you go. Those are the pickups right there. If you've seen any of them, definitely let me know what you think of them and which one is your favorite from this lot as well. Let me know if you have any signed memorabilia, movies, DVDs, VHS, Blu-rays, 4Ks, Steelbooks, anything like that. Um, let me know what your favorite Arrow video release is as well and what you would like to see Arrow video release in the future. Leave me uh, some comments and uh, video responses down below. Video responses are still kind of a thing. You can make your video response and put a link down in the comments, all that stuff. But I miss old school video response where you just post the video and it like showed up underneath. I'm not sure if, how many people watching this still remember that, but it was good stuff. And YouTube decided to just yank that away. And remember the whole Google Plus thing, that fiasco? Hmm. <laughs> Anyways, I digress. I went off on a whole tangent. I do that sometimes, which is why I edit a lot, but I'm not going to edit this video. But I uh, hope everybody's doing well. Take care.